Previously on Preps, the guys who play in the shadow of Eddie Stock. Eddie's pretty cool, you know, he's a fun person to be around. He doesn't act like he's better than anybody. Like, to me, he act like he's still a kid. No, oh, man, come on! The number one player in the country is just another member of the team. I think the value of hanging out as a team, you know, uh, brings out the unity on the floor. Eddie's respect for the guys who make him look so good. Now, I try to lead by example. Really not too much of a, of a vocal leader on this team. I mean, because my team, they pretty much, they do pretty much everything they're supposed to do. Let's prep, uh, uh, come on, come on. Uh, 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 In Chicago, high school basketball is more than just a game. It's a dream that starts on the playground. Where you can carve a path to glory. Hundreds hope, few make it. These are their stories. I'm Eddie Curry, 6'11", 290 pound center, Thornwood Thunderbirds. My name's Kyle Kleckner, 6'185 pound shooting guard, from Downers Grove North High School. I'm Sean Docker, I play for Junior High School. Point guard, I'm a junior, I'm 18 years old. The preps of Chicago Hoops. Julian High School, Sean Dock, the number one junior point guard in the country, is going off. Sean missed the slam, but the tip still put him up 20. Man, this game was over before it started. Going down to uh, UIC, Marshall hey, Girls Plan. She gone. I got the ticket. Right. Sean and them are going over to see Cappy Pondex to play in the city finals. I bet y'all wonder who's Cappy. That's Cappy. That's right. Cappy's a girl. Cappy Pondexter. Great name. Better game. She's one of the top girl hoopers in the country. And get this, she only started playing a few years ago, back in the sixth grade. Fell in love with the game of basketball. Okay. So I, I like being around it a lot. Uh, Kepi Poindexter is a one heck of a player. Uh, she's 5'7", but she's got good hang time. So she can go in and get the offense and the defensive board. She's very quick. She's got a nice outside shot, but she can also drive, nice slashing drive, and she hits her free throws. She's an all-around player, and she reminds me of Michael Jordan in a lot of ways in that she will not let her team lose, and she's a very, very special blend of an athlete and a good person. Man, I think I'm man, the best player in the nation overall. Oh, Kathy, she got game. She can play with the she can play with the boys. She one of the top top basketball players I know. Not just with boys. I mean not just with girls, with boys and girls. That girl got a lot of talent. And uh, she bring a lot of excitement to the game as well as the public league for the girls. Everybody knows she she the best. I don't, I can't see no other girl better than her. And I ain't just saying it because I know her nothing like that. I'm just I'm just being real. The first time I saw her play ball was in her freshman year at Marshall. I had not seen her play before. Okay. And I was like in awe. Okay. Whoa. Okay. That my child? <laughs> you know, she's kind of good. Is that right? Oh, uh, she could be virtually unstoppable. It's just like that old get paid saying, uh, if you bag off for you, she gonna jail you. If you get up on you, on her, she gonna lay you. If you foul her, she gonna trade you. Uh, the future, she got to get paid. Cappy plays for the Lady Commandos of Marshall, one of the best girls programs in the country. There's a lot of pride and tradition with the Lady Commando basketball program. They've got, what, I think 24 city championships and nine state championships. There's a lot of pride and tradition in this program, and Cappy Poindexter will take that on her back at any time. 
And it all starts with head coach Dorothy Gators, the John Wooden of Girls High School Hoops. I think she can be on a professional level with coaching, but I think she like high school. Mm -hmm. And as long as she winning, I mean, she gonna continue doing it. Get too close to the back court line! Set them up! It's unbelievable sometimes for some of the stuff, the, the respect the kids give her around the school, not just on the basketball team, uh, she's always teaching, always. Even uh, a game they can win by 50 with no problem. Ms. Gator is always teaching, trying to get the kids to, you know, to be better, you know, different options here. And I mean, she's great to me. I, I think that I've, I've always been a person who has uh, given credit to those people who have helped uh, to evolve our program to the level that it is. And certainly it starts with players and then with people who were willing to step in and help me and answer questions and, and just take my hand and, and guide me in the direction that, you know, I was looking to achieve. So um, I, I think that that may have something to do with it because I've never been a person uh, who, who would brag about, you know, our accomplishments or even say my accomplishments because I couldn't have accomplished it without a lot of people. Kathy is a great player. She really has no pronounced weaknesses. We've had kids where the rap on them was that, you know, they can only drive to the basket, they can't shoot. We've had kids that they can shoot, but they can't drive to the basket, or they can't this, they can't that. Cappy has no real weakness at the high school level in her game. She got the confidence of Michael Jordan. Uh, it, Cappy believes nobody can beat her. Nobody can stop her, and she believed Marshall was unbeatable, ever. Even when they lose, oh, it was our fault we lost. They, they, they didn't nobody beat us. Right now, I compare my game to Mike. I mean, I just idolize him. If there's nobody else, I idolize Mike. Like this summer, at my house out in Dalton, you know, it was Luther Head, Sean Dockery, all those guys was out there playing. And she gave them a run for their money, like, like she was one of the guys. They gave us a game for first. First, I remember the first time uh, we started playing. Uh, Tiffany put Jason in the post and scored. Jason laughed. I'm like, man, this ain't no game here. Oh, you all serious? They like, you serious? I'm like, yeah, I gotta win this game. They tried to out muscle us. They won. They wound up beating us, but not that bad that much though. And we all finished playing them. Man, me and Jason was drenched. We got we playing girls and stuff. Then it was me and Sean on the team against uh. Lil Pee Wee from Thornwood and, uh, what's his name? Sawyer, Steve Sawyer. They, they had us like 32 to 16. I think I scored all the points from that. We won. Uh, Cappy got more confidence than anybody I've ever seen. Uh, I mean, male or female. She believed whenever she steps on the court, she's going to win. The only person that can stop me is myself. That's how I look at it. That's how I was taught to look at it. Coming up, Washington tries to stop Cappy's run for the city championship. So I stay close to my family. You know, I'm kind of grounded. When you ain't got nobody else, that's who you got. So you got to stay close to them. I mean, I knew she was going to be something special when she was in the womb because she was just so energetic, always moving about, always doing. And when she was born, I mean, I didn't even have to train her to the pot. She trained herself. She was about one and a half, one and a half, I think. We had gone to the store shopping, and, and she saw ruffled panties. And I was like, she's like, oh, pretty, pretty. I said, yeah, pretty panties. And, and she's like, one, one, one. I said, no, you can't have those. You have to go to the pot to have those pretty panties. I'll buy them when you when you potty train. The next morning, we got up looking for Cappy. She had climbed out of the bed. And we're looking all through the house. Well, where is Cappy? We go in the bathroom. And guess who's on the toilet? And she's like, pretty panties. She wanted pretty panties. And oh, she's going to be so upset with me. To this day, Cappy likes pretty panties. I should be saying that. Don't put that on there. No, oh, don't put that on there. <laughs> I used to go outside, just dribble a ball from the morning until like the evening. 
I swear, just taking breaks, just jumping the ball. And I just loved it. She never wanted to play with the little kids. She wanted to play with the big kids. My brother, he, uh, he used to play like uh, in the neighborhood and stuff. I used to go with him. I mean, I had no other choice. I had to go with my big brother. You know, I taught all this. Right, right. She got it from me, you know. Everybody else tried to take part in it, but I'm the one who made this. So y'all always remember me. Always, when she get to the WNBA, remember me. You know I'm gonna be at all the games for free. <laughs> all that free stuff. Oh. Nike. Yeah. <laughs> all that. All of the dreams that swirl all around me Spiraling up instead of down My idea was St. Ignatius, but Cabby's idea was Miss Gators and Marshall. I'm happy that she came to Marshall because it gave her an opportunity to uh, to experience who she is, to experience who she is around around people that she really cared about. I realize it's not about what I want, but it's about what she wants because she needs to be happy wherever she is. Cappy is a nice person to be around. Fun. She she liked going to basketball games. She loved it. You know, she go to basketball games. She study the game. Uh, whenever. Whenever we're at home, you know, we just, you know, we just chilling out, watching TV or something, basketball conversation come up, and she can roll with the big boys, the big dogs, the old schoolers. She know what she's talking about. But she really is a good student. She's nice. And she's nice, she's conscientious, and she's focused. But she doesn't dress up. <laughs> I have to make her comb my hair some days. Everybody want to see me in a dress. We just going to lay it all out for them. Like that. So, if you never seen me in a prom dress, man, bring the cameras. Bring them. We went to the Willie White Awards, and I tell you, Miss Thang was gorgeous. Gorgeous legs, gorgeous legs. She is so jazzy in a dress. Hmm. When she drop her hair and put on a dress, it's on. It's on. Like it's on. Her brother told her to hurry up and take that off and put her pants and stuff back on. Right. Yeah, she was looking pretty spiffy. If I didn't know, I was going to get her. <laughs> so I want to go on prom and show them how I look dressed up like a young lady. Cappy loves a prom dress but she's more proud of a uniform for the Junior National All-Star Team. <laughs> All right, Cappy, you got the prom dress. Who's your date gonna be? Well, I was supposed to say Justin, but I guess he found somebody else. Well, at first, people was asking, was, he was telling people he's going on prom, but you know, I don't like people in my business, so I was like, oh, no, I ain't going on prom with him. I'm saying that. Then I told him I wasn't going on prom with him, but I was playing, so I guess he thought I was serious. I was real enthused about taking it, you know what I'm saying? Real enthused. And then, you know, she come tell me like three weeks ago she not going. Crush me, I'm what? You know what I'm saying? I've been playing on this for three years. I talked to him a day about it. We had to sign who was our prom date, and I put his name down. He left. So he paged me on my two-way and was like, he need to talk to me. So like before the game start, he uh told me he had a date. And I was like, all right, cool. And me being who I am, you know, hey. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm a ladies man, so if she was gonna be like that, you know, it was no problem with me getting over nobody else, but. I'm gonna find somebody. Yeah, I got a couple of people in mind. And I was thinking about Eddie, but you know. Somebody told me I should ask Luther. I'm gonna call Sean and see what he gonna do. I'm gonna try to take Sean to the prom. The prom date dilemma will have to wait because Cappy's got more important matters to take care of. Coming up, Cappy takes on Washington for the city championship in front of Sean and all the best guards in the house. I think the world is Cappy's oyster. Uh, if the professional league exists when she comes out of college, I'm sure she'll be a number one draft choice. I'll be watching the, the, the uh, WNBA games. I'll be looking at her like, man, Cappy will kill these girls. 
That's that's just how her game is. Her her level is higher than anybody. I think that's because she's been playing against uh, boys all her life. At the role she going, she will be in the WNBA. She gonna go down to Rutgers perform. You know what I'm saying? No doubt. Yeah. She an awesome player, man. Ain't nobody got no game like this, Curry. Nobody. She got all the handles. This is little Iverson, female Iverson. Cappy could have gone to any school in the country, but she picked Rutgers. I'm ready to hoop. Oh, yeah, I got to give a shout out to my Rutgers family, you know, for next year. How y'all doing? You know, Coach Stringer, much love. Coach Law, much love. Y'all will see when she get to that school, get down to them college players. Some of y'all know already y'all can't stick this girl. <laughs> Coach Stringer reminded me of my mom in a lot of ways, you know. When I kind of get loose, you know, I need somebody that's going to tell me, well, you need to do this. I'm, I'm used to that, so that's what I was kind of looking for. And um, Coach Stringer, she also reminded me of Coach Gators. I mean, I knew if I wanted to work hard and get better, that was the place for me to go. And I knew she would have my back and take care of me. Some say Cappy's good enough to make the leap to the league right out of high school. Cappy can make that jump straight to the WNBA. Mm -hmm. She got the confidence level. You know, that, 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 that mindset that, hey, I can't be stopped. Mm -hmm. And if you ever read her arm, it's true. We've got WNBA for the future. Well, that's something she says she wants. And usually when Cappy says she wants something, Cappy gets it because she sets her sights high and she, she walks the steps to get there. So what can I do? I can't stand in a way if that's part of her dream. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, just going to yeah. be there supporting. I want to play ball for a couple of years, you know, get myself established, established in WNBA or whatever, mm -hmm. make my little money there, mm -hmm. come back to my, you know, community, you know, provide for these young kids out here. But before that day comes, Cappy still got a city championship to play. Time for the girls to take center stage. Marshall versus Washington for the city title. And all of Cappy's possible prom dates are in attendance. Sean Dock, Will the Thrill Biner, Luther Head, and the man who said no to Cappy, <laughs> Justin Bowman. But right about now, prom's the last thing on our map. Cappy comes out firing, putting Marshall up early. But Washington hangs tight. Coach Gators is looking pretty calm. She knows it's right about time for Cappy to take over. Nice game, Marshall just, just giving it to him right now. And as usual, Cappy's leading the way, taking it hard to the hole, just like Mike. Taking notes, fellas. Oh, snap. That bucket right there puts the Lady Commandos up 18. It's all academic now. Just got to wait for the clock to run out. The Lady Commandos and Cappy are the city champions. And 
for Coach Gators, it was a 713th win. I feel elated for them. Yeah. They work real hard, and we deserve it. It feels great. I mean, we have, we've been denied from the last year. You know, a lot of people thought we wasn't going to be able to do it. But we proved ourselves tonight, and it feels great. Cappy's got another title. She's got the name, the smile, the talent. Man, she's got it all. You might want to rethink prom, Justin. Coming up on Preps, Cal Kleckman is not just a basketball player. He's all state at football and baseball, too. Playing three sports definitely does involve having a lot of willpower and a lot of determination because by no means is it easy. Cal Kleckman, a guy who's got it all. On the next prep. Those are my children. Yeah. See, we ain't like my mom. She's you know, she kind of nerdy, but she's cool, though. She's cool. She's a cool mom. She, you know, she, she, yeah, I'm old anyway. I still have my mom. But she cool. She on the trip. Only until June. <laughs> That's yeah. what she's saying. Hey, when Cappy yeah. leave, he leave. That's yeah. what she's saying. Y'all know what people say. I need a job. <laughs> I, I work at AP Deli. Y'all, y'all gonna see. Me. I know some of y'all like AP Deli, corned beef. Number one in Chicago. Come see me, holler at me. Don't North Avenue or Narragansett. I ain't hyping them up. I'm just letting somebody know that I need another job. I'm tired of making sandwiches all day. I get paid 430 an hour. You're so cloudy. You're so sick. Tired of that. Hook yeah. him up. Hook the brother up.